Welcome back to the channel, Junior with a classic VW Bucks. Uh, today, taking a break from Frankenstein. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how I installed these nice uh, three-point seat belts that I got from J-Bucks. Notice I got the tan color, which matches the interior of my car. A little history about the uh, three-point seat belts. Uh, I believe it dates back to 1959. It was developed by Volvo engineer Neil Bogling. They owned the patent, but they left it open open and free for use for all of the other vehicle manufacturers all right so let's go ahead and show you how i did this installation the installation is pretty simple it just requires a few wrenches and the use of the hardware that comes with the kit the kit uh, comes with uh, two retractable uh, belts two lap belts and the hardware this hardware actually goes to the retractable seat belts and then these here go to the lap seat belt also comes with uh, four stickers and I purchased these additional supports to install the retractable portion so it's pretty simple, the installation. Uh, in my case, I have to tilt the seat uh, to the front a little bit, just like that, the backrest in the rear. I'm, I'm opting to install the, adjust, the adjustable buckle in the middle. Insert a bolt uh, through the eye nut with a lock washer. Place the flat washer in the bottom. Install it in the uh, car and uh, whatever you do in this step here, you do on the other side of the uh, car. So that's the adjustable piece right there. And then here on the other side, I'm using the uh, fixed uh, strap seat belt that is not adjustable. So I'm actually installing this eye knot in this direction right here so that when this gets exposed, the nice finished part of the seat bell is exposed uh, to the top. Okay, so we got that one installed. And then this is gonna go like that. That's going to add some safety to the passengers behind here in the rear seat. There we go. And just like such, we don't have seat belts. Awesome. Okay, so we got those in there. That's good to go. I still have to put the stickers on that, but I'll, I'll leave that for later. When I installed the uh, new headliner in the car, um, I covered the, um, the trick connection for the bolt that holds the um, uh, three point uh, seat belts uh, to the uh, uh, front. And so what I did now, I measure from the center of this bolt here to the center here uh, in regards and reference to my other 1971, which is an identical car uh, like this one, Frankie. Uh, it is 31 inches, so I was able to locate the spot. I used the same bolt to raise the hole and I use a hammer and slightly hammer it to shape it. And now I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to cut a small opening. Take this bolt here, we slip the low spacer and that's gonna go in there just like so. It goes right there. 
So the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, figure out how to install uh, this part in the bottom. For that, I purchased these uh, ports. So I'm taking this piece here, lining up these uh, two pins right here. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab my, my phone you what I did here and why I did it that way give you a better closer look okay so these uh, retractable seat belts come with this L bracket support but I purchase these here which are a perfect fit not only they're all they're a perfect fit but they have this uh, little like pins that help align the retractable portion to the sport, which I think is pretty important because if this is not properly aligned, uh, when you pull the seat, you'll have troubles with it. It doesn't retract or pull easy. So in my case, uh, I opted to put the bolt from the outside in and I still have a clearance between the, the reel and the belt and the bolt, which I know is gonna clear, it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, so um, it seems like the, uh, the nut is actually interfering with these uh, uh, pins here because the nut has the, uh, one of the uh, uh, corners sticking up like that so I'm going to try to flip this to the side make it almost even with this to see if if it helps out or not so I'm gonna go ahead and set the phone aside and then when I try that I'll come back and I'll share with you okay so turning the nut uh, and having the flat side to the front right there it really helped because now I will be able to close this a piece of plastic that goes right there and then I pull the uh, seat belt like that and turn the buckle this way. I reverse it. This buckle was actually behind here. It was actually facing that way. And I didn't like the way that it looked because when you, and I wanna show you, when you close uh, the door and you're, to, you're gonna pull the seat. So you wanna make sure that when you pull the seat uh, belt, it's actually lapping, overlapping over the backrest this way. You don't want it all twisted like that. You don't want it pulling like that. You want it pulling like this. So um, when I do the other side, I'm gonna try to put the phone in the, um, in the tripod and see if I have the same issue. I'll show you how it's done. Now I can go ahead and uh, install this end here with the same bolt right there to here. Now we take our bolt that came with the uh, hardware and we're going to run it through this strap right here, just like so. Here, this uh, fastening point right here, I sort of like offset it a little bit towards uh, in the same direction where the lap strap is going to be uh, coming. And now all I have to do is uh, install this piece back here. So the next step is to take this piece right here and just bolt it here and the uh, passenger side should be done. So I'm going to direct them almost in the same direction of the lap. Okay, so. 
So if you notice, if I was going to buckle myself in the front, this is twisted. I really don't want that. We open this back side here. I pulled this up like that and basically took one end and flipped it over like that and like that and then moved the buckle until it's now in the side that I want it to be at. So now when I bring this over to the lap here, it's in the right position. So, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that now. So we got one done, and then we got the other one to get it done. So basically, whatever you do on one side, you repeat on the other side, and that should be it. So I already have this top portion here installed, and before, I was trying to explain to you that when I pull this section here, which is the one that is going to go over my chest, I don't want this piece to be like that because when I pull it, it's going to twist the seat belt. And I really don't think that that's gonna be efficient for me. So what I'm gonna do is pull this uh, little plastic uh, cover from here. And basically you just support it like that press and then with your nail you have to pop that up just like so like that and it's out it's my personal preference when I pull this I want to make sure that this part here, just like so, it's over my chest. But for that, then this buckle, which happens to be in the opposite side, has to be on this side here. So what you want to do is you pull that like that. And after you do that, you flip this strap like this on one side. And on the other side, you do the same thing. then the same manner you finish that one you want to do it on the other side like so now when I pull this this buckle it's on the top not here in the back and if I bring this seat over like that, you can see that the buckle, it's overlapping over the top of my chest, which is where I want it. So with that already being in the right position, you can take the plastic back and snap it on. That should be it. The next thing to do is to take this piece here and we're gonna go ahead and fasten it right there on that anchoring bolt right there. And now we take this here, fold that like so, and then we can put that right there. Okay, and lastly but not least, we now install this piece. And again, I'm gonna to have to do the same thing with this one here that I did with the other one, um, which is um, I'm gonna to have to flip the buckle to be in the right direction. That's pretty much it right there. I still have to put the, uh, the stickers in the uh, buckles, but I'll do that probably tomorrow when it's warmer. Let's go ahead and do a, a test to see how they feel when you are actually seated. Works fine like that. 
pretty much it for today um, I hope that you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe until then this is junior with a classic VW bucks junior out